I'm going to be making a couple of videos about the Piatic numbers, QP, and in this video, I'm going to be more conceptual about it, while in another video that I'll make later, it will be more hands-on. But I, in this video, I want to explain what is QP and why do we build QP in the first place? Let's first recall why we build the real numbers in the first place. We build the real numbers because Q is not what we call complete. And complete means that whenever you have a sequence of numbers in the set that seem to converge to a number, we want that limit to be in the same set. And for example, when you have a sequence of consecutive Fibonacci numbers, ratios of consecutive Fibonacci numbers, it turns out that the limit is the golden ratio. And the golden ratio is a real number, and it is not a rational number, so we are missing a limit. And to fix that, what we say is we define a set that contains every limit of convergent sequences of rational numbers, and that is the real numbers. The concept of convergence depends on having defined a distance between numbers in the rational numbers. Usually, we use what we call the usual absolute value, which is the Euclidean metric, to measure distances between numbers. For example, 13 over 8 minus 8 over 5, we take the absolute value of the difference, that's 1 over 40, so we say those are close together. And 21 over 13 minus 13 over 8, we take the absolute value, that's 1 over 104, so those are even closer together than those. However, we have chosen a way of measuring distances between numbers in the rational numbers, and there are other ways to measure distances between uh, rational numbers, and that gives you other ways to complete the rational numbers. And one such absolute value is what we call the piadic absolute value. Take P to be 2 here. Let's see how it works. So if I take the 2 adic absolute value of a rational number, I do the following. Write A over B in lowest terms, and then factor the highest power of 2 that you can get out of numerator and denominator so that A prime and B prime are odd numbers. And now I can write my fraction in this way. And if I have that, then the absolute value of this number, the 2 adic absolute value, is going to be 1 over 2 to the n, whatever that power was, now it appears in the denominator. So numbers with a high power of 2 in the numerator will actually be very small, and numbers with a high power of 2 in the denominator will actually be very large. For example, 8 is very small in the 2 adic absolute value, 1 over 8 is fairly large in absolute value, 40, that's 8 times 5, so it is also a small, 13 over 8 minus 8 over 5, that is 1 over 40, so there is a 8 in the denominator, and that makes it a large number. So in the Tuatic absolute value, these two consecutive ratios of Fibonacci numbers are actually not close together. So there is a different type of convergence happening here. If instead of the usual Euclidean absolute value, we use the Tuatic absolute value, now we get a different way of completing Q into, instead of the real numbers, what we call Q2, the two adic rational numbers that work like the real numbers do in the way that Q is contained in the two adics. And now convergence looks and feels really different from the real numbers because, for example, 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 4, and so on, that sequence doesn't converge in the usual Euclidean metric because, well, this is blowing up to infinity. So it doesn't converge to a real number. However, in the two addicts, this is convergent because 4, 8, 16, we are adding each time something that is smaller and smaller and smaller. And in the limit, this sequence does converge in this metric and it converges to this infinite series 1 plus 2 plus 4, 8, 16, and so on, which does converge to an actual number in Q2. Finally, why the piadic absolute value? Well, there is an amazing theorem of Ostrowski's that says the following. If you have an absolute value on the rational numbers that you're going to use to complete the, the rational numbers, then up to equivalence, there is only the Euclidean absolute value or the piadic absolute values. So if you're going to try to complete the rational numbers, the only options are that you're going to complete it into the real numbers or you're going to complete it into the piadic rationals. 